please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh. Today, find out what's happening around the city that has grabbed many people's attention during this time of the year. We'll also tell you what school publication is coming to a classroom near you. And later, get all those sports updates for the rest of this week. Today is December 17th, 2015, and this is FST News. Good morning, I'm Zach Salisbury. And I'm Summer Reyes. This week is Spear Week. If you couldn't tell, today is Holiday Hat Day. And tomorrow you can wake up and leave for school five minutes later because it's PJ Day. If you post any pictures on Instagram or Twitter, or you get your you or your friend get in Spirit Week attire, then make sure you use the hashtag FHS Winter Week because we want to use you getting in the assembly video if you post it today. And while getting, you're getting your holiday spirit with Spirit Week, you can go and see many holiday attractions around the Las Vegas Valley. FST News reporter Amanda Leake went out and looked at one of the oldest and biggest ones in town. Every year, Glittering Lights puts on a light show that you drive through at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. They've been doing this for the past 12 years, and it's Nevada's biggest holiday-themed drive through light show. It is a 2.5-mile course with over 3 million lights along it. They have been open since November 13th this year, and they are closing on January 3rd, 2016. They are open from 5.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Sundays through Thursdays, and they are open from 5.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Fridays, Saturdays, and holidays. Each ticket is $20 unless you donate some clothing to Goodwill on site. If you do, they'll give you a discount of $5 on the weekdays and two on the weekends. You can also get a season pass for $55. Thanks, Amanda. And that's just one of the many ways to lighten up your holidays. And when you're done going through the glittering light show, you can go see the new Star Wars. It's been over just 10 years since the last Star Wars movie was released. The very first Star Wars movie came out over 38 years ago in 1977, but the wait is over. Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, is coming out today. The earliest times are tonight at 7. But you know, Zach, I'll be there at 10, and I'm so excited. I'm very excited. I've been anticipating it ever since it was announced, and I can't wait to see it myself. I came to school all decked out in Star Wars just for this day. After school, I have to go wait in line for six hours. Lucky you get to see it today. Speaking of things I'm excited about, when we come back from the break, find out all things sports for the rest of the week. Starting off with bowling, Zach and I went to the bowling game on Monday against Coronado and interviewed Preston Amy and Morgan Preshaw from both the girls and guys varsity bowling teams. Easy as anything else, but I mean it really comes down if you want to be good, really having the right skills and 
equipment and everything just to get the job done and everything. So, Oh, no, I love bowling. I've been doing it all my life. Very well. We won every match so far. We're killing it. We're undefeated. I think we could end up winning state. We have a big chance of winning state so far because I love it. I've been bowling for about maybe more than 10 years, so it's it runs in my family, my whole family bowls, so it just kind of grew on me, I guess. I just I love to do it. I think our girls' bowling team is going to go far this year and even make it to state. Mm -hmm. I completely agree. They're doing so well and they have a bunch of potential. Except for the boys, they are doing well, but they can use a bit more of a, like I don't know, like a push, I guess. I think if they devote themselves, they'll go all the way to state and they'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. But I actually really enjoyed going to see the bowling. It was mm -hmm. really fun. And the, even the, all their school was clapping for us. And when we did good or got a strike, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was really cool. They had a lot of sportsmanship. And it looks like they had a lot of fun working hard and focusing. <laughs> and if you want to go and see them, they have a game today against Green Valley at 3. Last night, the flag football teams defended the hill again. Both the varsity and JV teams won. JV won 13 to 7 and varsity won 32 to 6. As for future games, the flag football team has a game tomorrow. They are playing over at Canyon Springs. JV starts at 3:30. Varsity begins at 4:30. And finally, the freshman team kicks off at 6. Before we let you go, the holiday edition of Hillside Hotwire is hot off the press. The latest edition explores Justin Bieber's new album and the art club creating portraits of orphans and from a country of ocean away and they delve into the ins and outs of depression and anxiety. The latest edition was released during first hour. Take a copy and read it at lunch or over break. We at FST News know how tough it is to inform the public so grab a copy today. Well that's all the news we have for you today Falcons. Don't forget tomorrow's assembly day and PJ day. I hope to see everyone in spirit and at the assembly.